According to Rabobank's Beef Quarterly for Q4 of 2019, beef will see a continuation of strong import demand from China in 2020. Growing Chinese demand has attracted increased volumes of beef trimmings from Australia and New Zealand during 2019, and Rabobank expects ongoing competition for this supply into 2020. China has been active in approving plants for access to the Chinese market. Since August 1st, Brazil has had 22 plants approved and Argentina has had 8 plants approved, along with plants across Europe. Also, South Africa has been re-granted access. Meanwhile, a new government will take office during early December in Argentina. The lack of sector-specific agricultural policies and the increased chance of higher beef export tariffs, currently about 5%, are giving rise to uncertainty about the future of the Argentine beef market. For more on this, subscribers should click on the news link in Comtel. In other news, a massive effort has been planned to restore Canada's upper Fraser River for the 2020 salmon run. Here's news assistant Ryan Doyle with the story. The Big Bar landslide, which blocked important portions of the Fraser River, a key area for salmon migration in British Columbia, may cause some salmon populations to completely vanish. Although a large rescue mission was launched this past summer, extremely low salmon returns have scientists fearing for the worst. Government scientists said there is a meaningful chance of extinction for early Stewart stocks and mid Fraser and upper Fraser spring 1.3 Chinook populations, according to CBC News. With the future of the populations in doubt, many are calling for the government to give more power to local officials to try and improve the situation by the beginning of next year's run. So far, federal and provincial governments, alongside multiple First Nations, have worked together to respond to the landslide at Big Bar. Recent reports indicate that the provincial government will continue to work with stakeholders over the coming winter months to undertake efforts to protect the salmon. For more on this story, visit seafoodnews.com or click the Seafood tab in Comtel. Thanks, Ryan. That concludes our show for today. Thanks for watching and be sure to visit Comtel for the latest market and industry news. Today's video is sponsored by the NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online, an interactive way for you to learn and understand more about the items you buy and sell. The NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online features high definition videos for all of your major red meat items. Head to meatbuyersguide.com to view a demo and sign up today.